everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This kicks off my Valentine's series 2020. This is my third Valentine's one now, I believe. So this one's going to be a little bit different because I, by the time this goes up, I would have already had a weekend away with my best girlfriends. So it was my birthday last Wednesday. And what we've started to do now every year is we go away for my birthday because you can get such amazing cheap deals in January. <laughs> So that's one good thing about January. So yeah, we go away and um, we are staying in a beautiful lodge. We've got a sauna, we've got a hot tub, everything is just gonna be so good. So what I've started to do now, it's become a little thing that I like to do, is I leave a little gift on every one of their bedsides. So there's six of us going and then myself, so there's seven in total. And they are my high school friends. So we've known each other for a long, long time. And so this series is gonna kind of have maybe three, but yeah, probably three projects are gonna be things that I've made for this weekend. But I think, because it's showing my love to my friends, that's why I've included it into my Valentine series. So these are there, I've got five here and I'm gonna do the sixth one with you on the video. And these, I really love these. So what they are, and I've done something similar, similar before, but much smaller, and it's a gift and a card in one. And this box I've made specifically to hold a small bottle of wine, so here it is here so I've got they've got two reds two rosé and two whites so they can fight between themselves if they want to mix them up but I'll show you inside in a moment and then the card here so I've got best friends don't care if your house is clean they care if you have wine <laughs> and then inside it says lucky to have a friend like you so um I just yeah I just thought this would work really well for valentine's but again you can use this for any occasion as with pretty much anything on my channel just change your papers and it will work for a lot of things and then I've, I've done this fastening before I really like it but you just take un, you know un, um, yeah undo the string so I thought it was stuck then and then open up your lid and then you've got this one here's got a bottle of rosé oh that must be is that a rosé as well oh, I don't know what I've got here anyway no white although it looks no, it's definitely rosé. Anyway, um, it will hold that very comfortably. Um, it's very strong. And then again, that just goes around. So I've used the little cardstock and I've used the... I can't remember the name of the pad. I'll show you it in a moment. So I've got a nice um, mixture of coloured paper and then the, that paper pack works really well with these. So if you've got the little cardstock, it's that kind of lovely aqua kind of green. We've got like a wine colour, pink, and then the two purples, the light and the dark. And then I've used silver cardstock to um, matte all of it, just to give it a little bit of shine. So let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how to make them because they're very quick and easy to do. Okay, so a few bits to go through with you, but I will talk through that as and when. Did I need that piece? I'm not sure. Um, that's the stamp set I've used for the one inside, so lucky to have a friend like you. I know loads of you have this because it just kept selling so well when um, Dovecraft first released it. And um, it was only, it's either $1.99 or $2.99, it's really inexpensive, but it's probably one of my most used sentiment stamps. So I've already done my one for the middle. And then those funny ones where it says, friend, best friends, don't care if your house is clean, they care if you have wine. It's from... The Making Cards magazine, it's the Best Friends March issue from 2018. I don't think you'll be able to get this one anymore, but there may well be stamps available on their website. So again, I will link to it. You know, you can always maybe drop them a message and they might be able to help you. For the big heart, as you'll see there's a large heart and then there's that decorative, like geometric heart. The large heart is just the outer one from the Landmark Occasions one. This is the Spectacular Swirls by the Card Making Magic. And then the geometric one is from the Bright Rosa Heart Band, and it's this one here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that one, and then that one. And I've also taken a, a chunk off the side, but again, I can talk you through that. Now for the cover, I've used the herringbone technique, and I've done a separate tutorial for this. So if you want to do the same cover, go up to this video here. The reason I do this is it's a great one to do when you've got lots of scraps left. So I didn't actually have any large sheets left from the paper pad because I'd used a lot to do obviously, you know, six of these, but I had loads of scraps. So it's always my go-to kind of pattern or thing to do when I've got scraps because now I've got hardly anything, nearly everything's gone from the paper pack. So I think that's, you know, it's a good way to get the most out of your papers. So like I said, check out that video. It's a really popular one. I know lots of people enjoy that. Okay, so that was the, oh yeah, and then I've, the little heart is in the centre of that card making magic one here. That's the die that just goes in the middle there and I've just cut them out just again, just to add a little bit more de decoration. 
Okay, so we'll talk through all those mats and layers in a moment. It's gonna, you know, it won't be a particularly long video because I've done all of the prep for you um, beforehand. So you want a piece that is 12 by seven and a half. So it is a, a slightly bigger card. It, it ends up being a five by seven and a half, half card rather than a five by seven, just because that height is what I needed for the bottle. So that's why you've got the seven and a half. Along the 12 inch side, you want to score at five inches. Okay, and then just fold and burnish. So there is your card, and then that section there is two inches wide, and that's where we're going to stick the box. Okay, so that's that one. And then to make the box, you want a piece of 11 and a half by eight and a half. Along the eight and a half side, you want to score every two inch. So two, four, six, and eight. And then along the 11 and a half, you want to score it two and nine and a half. So you'll have a two inch section and two inch section. Then you want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, then we want to do a bit of cutting. So it doesn't really matter, top or the bottom. I've got my half inch tab on the right hand side there. So you're just going to cut up all of these to the first score line. And this one here, just remove completely. And then you can just take a little wedge off of that one and come around here. Again, cut up all of those. So that one, remove it completely. And then take a wedge off. And then just cut along those. Okay, and then with this one here, just add some glue on the tab and then fold that one over and fold that one over and it will lay down perfectly. Okay, like so. And then I always like to have the where the join is here, that'll be the back, so that's gonna be the side there that we we'll stick onto the card. So this will be the bottom, so the one at the front you want to be the last one that you stick down. So I'm gonna pop that one up and then you may wanna cut um, a little bit off of the sides of these ones. In fact, I'll do that just before I stick it down. So just cut. It just means you don't get anything overhanging. A little wedge off of both sides there. And stick one in. Oh, pop glue on that one. Stick that one. And then lastly, that one there. So now you've got that nice, tidy, Get that glue off the base. And there's three layers, which is why it's really strong and it's good for these wine bottles. But again, any drink, doesn't have to be alcoholic, and any kind of gift. I suspect there will be perfume bottles that will fit nicely into this as well. Okay, then you wanna add some mats to decorate. And these are all the other bits here. So I'm using the silver, love this stuff. And this is the one that I picked up from B&M. Very inexpensive, you get 20 sheets. I've got something stuck in there. 20 sheets and uh, yeah, just love it. Okay, so I've got here four, no, is it four? No, you only need three, but I'd cut four, that was right. So, I mean, you could put one on the back if you want, but the back's just completely plain, so I'll leave that up to you. So you want three pieces of one and three quarters by seven and a quarter, and they're gonna go one here, one here, and one here. And then you want three pieces of pattern paper, but I've only got two. Oh, I think that's because I was struggling to find a scrap big enough. So for this one, you will want three, but I think I'm gonna just do it there and there because you're actually gonna see the inside. You're not really gonna see the outer side. So this one, I'll see. I might get just get a different pattern that's within that collection because like I said, I've got a few bits of scrap, but not much. So this is one and a half by seven. So I'm gonna go and get those all stuck down. Okay, so that's all stuck down. I also did find a strip to put in there, so I've done that one, um, and I've also done this as well. So this is for the top of the lid, and this silver piece is one and three quarters squared, and then the pattern paper is one and a half squared. So you can stick it down first if you want, but what it is, so the back where you've got nothing on, so you'll stick down the front, or oh, sorry, you'll stick the two sides. We'd need to cut a little bit off them again, actually. So with the two sides, just cut a little wedge off of each corner 
and then stick the front one and then the back one's going to be actually last because that's where the string will be coming over. So this will stick on top of there but I find it easier to do this bit first. So these are one inch circles which I've just used my punch and I'm just going to poke a hole oh, in the centre, as centre as you can, that just jumps. Sometimes I find if you don't lock this in, it yeah, I didn't lock it in, <laughs> that's all it is. Right, okay, and then I've got these brads. These are the ones I get from the pound shop and they're, they're 25p at the moment because they're classed as Christmas but they put them in every collection pretty much. And then just open up the split pin, so you just got it like so. And then again, open up that one like that. It's a little bit off centre so I'll have that one on the top. Okay and then you want to grab some string so I've got this pink twine. Cut some off and you want your hot glue and you're just going to put a bead of hot glue. You want to do quite a nice like dollop of it. Dollop. You know just a, a nice blob. You're going to pop the end of the twine, the string, ribbon, whatever it is you might use and just let that glue just sit, just kind of hold it there for a minute because you want to keep some of the dimension of the glue so that the string can kind of go around. In fact, the top one doesn't matter as much, so we'll stick that one down. It's the bottom one where you wrap the glue around. So oh, you want to put it on the decorative piece. Okay, so like so in the middle. Mine is off center, which is annoying, but hey ho. Just shows I don't get everything spot on. And then I'm going to grab my glue on the back of this piece and then stick that on there like so and then this one here you just want to put a blob of hot glue and this is the one you just want to kind of hold it there for a second so it keeps a little bit of that shape almost starts to set and then we're going to stick it on here about an inch down from maybe it's more an inch and a half actually it's about there so I'm just going to let that start to set a little bit Okay, so I'm just going to pop it just there. Wherever you do it, make sure if you're doing more than one that they, you know, you're doing it the same on all of them. Now let that glue completely harden. Don't start wrapping that around while it might still be tacky, otherwise it will end up sticking to it. So that's that piece done. Then with this one here, I've got this bit all ready. So the silver is a piece of four and three quarters by seven and a quarter and then the piece on top is four and a half by seven and I've put some foam on this piece here so it's got a bit of dimension to it so I'm just going to stick this one down and you will have a nice even border make sure you're sticking it onto the front there of the card not this piece because it's um, all the same colour it's easy to um, you know, stick it on the wrong one, or stick it upside down, or something like we've all done before. Okay, so that's that piece. And then, so this is why I've cut a chunk off the side there, because I want this to kind of be, you know, coming off the side there. I just, well, for one, it didn't quite fit, it would have overhung anyway, but I do like that look. So I'm going to stick this one down, out there. Need to come up a bit. I think my camera's dropped because I seem to be having to come up a bit high. I need to check that out. And then this one here, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue just around that outer frame. And then that one's going to be just there, kind of overhanging. And then I've gone and stamped, and then I've just given it a little silver frame and put it on some foam again. And then that one is just going to sit just across the two there, so just drop that one down there. And then I've got that little silver heart. And again, I'm just gonna have that one kind of over there. And then I'm gonna finish it with some sequins in a moment. So next, that's all dry now, so we can, oh, I'll put the wind in at the end. So just square that all off, bring that around, and just, I wrap it around about three times, like so, and then trim it, because that way you know so it's going to be enough. And then on the back of this one here, you just want to add your glue right to the edges. Obviously, this is going to hold, you know, some heavier pieces. And I'll put up my playlist to the other, you know, um, box and cards in one. I think I've got about two others on my channel. And you want to stick it down so that it hugs the very end of 
the um, the card there and then close it. Now if it catches a little bit, which mine is, I'll show you what you can do, you can trim it in a minute. So if you test it first you might want to stick this before you stick that on the front. It, you're taking such a small amount off it really won't matter but um, once it all squares off it's fine but yeah I can afford to take a little bit off. So I'll do that in a second. While that's drying I'm going to stick this piece in. I'm not sure if I gave the measurements too but it's four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. So I'm going to stick that one down and you will have a lovely even border like so. And then what I'm going to do because it's such a tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit that needs to come off, I'm just going to pop it in my trimmer. So if you don't want to do this, you know, if you want to do this before you um, stick your thing on, I am taking the smallest amount off. It's like not even, well, it is about a millimetre. But it doesn't affect the border, see? And I'll show you there, that's what I've just cut away. But now it closes perfectly. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just going to finish off with a few sequins. So I just like to put a blob. Always work in threes or an odd number. One there, one there, and one there, and then one there, one there, oh. and one there. And these are a mix, really. So some of them are like pearl. You've got white. I've got iridescent. Let's do a white one there. Okay, so there's the front decorated. So now I can just undo that one and pop the last bottle of wine in. I know a couple of them what they drink, but some of the others they drink kind of anyone really. So once I fill the cards out, I will, um, and I'll decide then. But yeah, there you have it, nice and strong, holds that perfectly, stands up really nicely. So yeah, a gift and a um, card in one. I think it's such a nice idea. Okay, so that's all six done, and uh, I'll just put my bottle of wine in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not too worried about having a box and stuff made for myself. It's uh, it's the joy of giving it to someone else, isn't it, and seeing how they liked it. And I know they liked the ones that i done in the summer when we went away, so um, I'm sure they're going to enjoy these ones. So tune in for my next video, which will be another thing that's going to kind of go with this. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you have, and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.